Hi everyone and welcome to our Pit Science YouTube channel. In this video, we will be learning about JavaScript date method, the new date constructor, the date parse method, and the get time zone offset method. These method allows you to work with dates and times in JavaScript. If you are new to the JavaScript or if you are just looking for a refresher, I hope this video will be helpful. So without further ado, let's get started. Dates in JavaScript. Date is an object in JavaScript. It represents a single moment in a time. If you want to execute any date, the, the date will be depends upon the platform, the system where that date is executed. So let's say if you are executing that date in India, then it will be the current date. And if you are executing different time zone, let's say USA or Australia, you will get different time. So we are going to understand what are the different time zone, the date, the time, how we can play with date. We will also see what are the challenges with date and how we can encounter those. Before that, two, three things we need to understand. One is, have you heard about GMT time? Do you know DST time? One of these meaning. Namaste. Welcome to Bit Science. GMT means Greenwich Mean Time. It's a mean solar time at Royal Observatory in Green, there in the London. So the London will have 00, zero uh, Greenwich time. DST time are daylight saving time. This is a very wonderful thing. Daylight saving time are when you want to save some time. DST daylight saving time also refers to daylight time or summer time. This is occasionally been used in like more than 70 countries. So if you heard about Australia, they use it. There are some Australia, uh, New Zealand, they, they use it this daylight saving time. So what it means is when there is a 12 noon, it will change to 1 or sometimes some country change to 2. Why they, why they change? The 1 hour of gap will be managed at the uh, night time. So why they do to increase the productivity. So they want to work in uh, morning time more. So these are the two things we have to think about when we are playing with date. If you want to return some date, this is the way to write date. If this is for function itself. If you just write, it will give you today's date. If you see in the today's date, there are some uh, understanding you need to have. First is Tuesday, then is January 19th year, the time, hour, second, and the GMT. How much is ahead of that? So India is on that IST type. The USC will have depending. If you want to check, you can Google it. Next, JavaScript the date, you will always get the time after January 1997. So this is the time when this, this was established. And the same, whatever you want to do with date, you can also do with new date. So new date also give you a date object. So let's see the written statement here. See, there are two different way of representation in JavaScript. One is the full time. This is a string representation of date. This is the date format. So you will see a, a millisecond of time. Next example, console log this uh, date pass. What I'm passing is 9th August 1995. It will change that date and it will format for me. So this is for formatting. So this will return some date. So this means what I said, GMT time, this plus the other time zone. Okay, there are some historical uh, reason because of historical reason, the time and region is can be changed. For that, we need to understand a thing called get time zone offset. Okay, so this is get method and this is a time zone so we can extract time zone of time zone before that this is the time zone right gmt time zone that is that we can extract the time zone also so that you will get an offset some value will get okay it will be something 300 500 some value you will get that you can extract from this time zone okay so let's see let's uh, how we can extract a value from time zone what would be the time zone of this one you will get 330 means time offset but the interesting fact about this date. So if you run this code, USA or New York, you will get this. Why? Because New York time zone will be different. Okay, there is another fact with the time zone. See this example, this is August 1. So in India, if I am running, I will always get 330 minus 330, right? But New York, if you run this same example, this two statement, you will get 300, which should, be the, and this is 40, which is logically, it should be 300 itself. This is why, because they follow this, DST time zone. Because of that, they, it's uh, adjusted because of that. So in summer, which is eight, right? You will get lesser. Okay, let's see some few, two more examples. There are some other historical data like uh, this output. If you try to execute this one in Japan, you will get minus forty output. But where, if you see the same, which is uh, as a Japan, you will get different uh, time offset. Japan one time was invaded by Shanghai. Okay, 
So when Shanghai was under Japan control, that point they were using different time zones. So after that, what happened? This uh, Shinzo War happened. Okay, and that moment, the time zone also uh, adjusted with that jump. Because of that, you will see different time zone offset. Also, there will be many examples like this, which will tell you that time zone offset depends upon the historical data. Date itself is a beautiful thing. When you use the date, you can use many methods. With dates. That's all for this video. I hope you learned a little bit about JavaScript. If you have any questions, please leave a comment below and don't forget to subscribe to our channel. Thanks for watching.